Poor acorns. They don't even say anything. All, almost every other... God, I'm turning into such a wimp, but I, I'm sorry. My, my heart goes out to the acorns soon to be devoured. No, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it until they're all gotten. I'm gonna let the acorns have their dignity. I'm gonna have them all grouped together so they can, like, huddle together and be like, Oh, uh, oh, look, this is where I got the impression. Right there. That's where I wanted to break the window. I want all the acorns to come together and just be like, Oh, mama, why do we have to be eaten? Why? Why? Don't look! Don't look, Hans! It is just a giant squirrel! Oh, God, he's eating into your father's nuts! Oh, why? That kind of thing. I want them all to get. I want them all together for that. Come on, you think you can drown yourself? You think, oh, the mean squirrel, he will not find me in the waters. What the hell am I doing? Get it, Jesus. But uh, that's again. By the way, not to not to not to say that uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and all that did not have. Amazing mind box. Some of my favorite games. Some of my all-time favorite games are on the Super Nintendo. Um, and just untouchable classics are on the. Oh, look at that! Psychic acorns. Okay, psychic acor acorns that can float. But I'm just saying that I think, in terms of overall, best of the best, N64 and GameCube. That is my opinion. Oh, look at freaking eerie over there, my. God, you're huge, buddy. I call a lot of things buddy. Yoink. You know, I would pick on Nabnut here for not having the balls to go and get his own damn nuts, but really, when the acorns hide in such intelligent spots like this, don't look at me like that. Don't you look at me like that. You will be eaten. You will be you will be devoured. And by the way, one of my main points, one of my main um what is it? One of my main aspects, one of my main points to saying that the GameCube was a fantastic system. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, uh, Metroid Prime, fucking Resident Evil 4, uh, the other Resident Evils really, just solid, solid game. It's Mario Sunshine for God's sakes. Magnificent, magnificent. Loved every second. I know some people didn't, but my god, I loved Isle Delfino. Okay, enough nostalgia, let's get back to some nostalgia. Here you go, fat ass. Oh, Hans! Don't hold on to me! Don't stop holding on to me! Oh no! Squirtle! Yippee! That's all the acorns I need! Here you go, soulless bear! I'll see you in the spring! Now let's go see what he does. Are you gonna eat him? Are you gonna eat him? God, that must have been one hell of a shit. Can you imagine eating that giant pile of acorns? Good. Anyway, what are you guys doing here? No, you don't. I'm trying to get all tricksy with me? I don't think so. You don't pull that shit on Invisible Gunslinger. Not today, mate. Okay. Winter, here we come. This will signal the end of Click Clock Wood. In more ways than one. And it's a vicious cycle if you think about it. It's a very vicious cycle. Everything that we've done here just loops back. You know, Nabnut is gonna go back to eating all of his nuts in the spring. He's gonna exhaust himself and we're gonna have to save his ass again come next fall. It's just, it never ends. It's a never ending cycle. Here you go, big boy. Who's my giant anthropomorphic animal? He's not really anthropomorphic, he's just an animal wearing a diaper. How many animals do you know that wear diapers outside of monkeys? And humans. The human animal. Get bigger. Yes, yes. 
Thank you, bear. Eerie soon be big bird. Must have sleep first. Oh, you're gonna start ripping off Sesame Street, are you? I don't think so, buddy. Grrr. Whee! All right, while he's asleep, while he's asleep, I think we're gonna do something that <laughs> might piss him off. <laughs> That's right, everybody. We're gonna charge admission and make him into a slide. Whee! What do you think? Oh my god, Banjo. <laughs> he's a slide. People be riding him all the way down. It's great. That's right, everybody. If you ever want to give somebody drugs to make them pass out, just give them caterpillars. Michael Jackson, you wouldn't have had to die if you'd just taken caterpillars instead of those sleeping pills. Why, Michael? Why couldn't you have taken the caterpillars? I'm a bad person. Get the frickin' thing! Well, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Well, that's a little silly. Well, fuck me dead. That's what you get for making fun of Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson can reach out from the grave and bitch slap your game. You see? Where am I? Okay, not messing with you right now. Oh god, please no, I've got like 81 notes. Uh-oh. 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 I don't want to do this. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. <laughs> this is where shit gets nerve-wracking. This ain't fun and games anymore. I knew you were coming for me. I knew it before even you knew it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to do something a little risque here. Get ready, everybody. Go. Nope. Nope. Oh, too quick. Why are you too slow? Stupid bees. And yes, by the way, sadly you can only get out of here. You can only transform into a bee. In, um, I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong word there. You can only, there you go, not can. You can only transform into a bee in the springtime. Ain't life just a fucking shit show. Okay. Hey, look. There's the, uh, there's the owner of the house. Yep, he was here the whole time. He was waiting outside here. We killed him every single time. That's the, that's the person who was building the house. Good for him. Glad he could follow his dreams. Alright. Well, I don't know how the heck I'm going to get those last three notes. Hey, those are precariously perched um, honeycombs. Power-ups, there you go. Precariously perched power-ups. There, be, there better be a golden feather in that last room, otherwise, how will I be able to live with myself knowing, just sitting here and knowing that one mumbo skull evaded me? Can I even call myself a gamer? How can I look at myself at night? How do I get that frickin' That's what you get. That's what you frickin' dickin' get, you bastards. That's a satisfying squish, if ever there was one. It's more of a squelch, to be honest. How do you get that? I've got no clue. Weird. How did I not get hit by that thing? Don't know. Hmm. Ow. Okay, we're here with a little dilemma. I'll come back for you. You don't think I will, but I will. I'll get some gold feathers, because I... I know where there's some gold feathers. 
I'll come back for all of you. You think you're hot shit right now. But trust me, you ain't nothing come winter. So we'll leave these. We'll play it safe for right now. Or will we? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ha ha! Banjo wins again! <laughs> but really though, now, of all times, how can I call myself a gamer if I don't go back for that mumbo head? For that mumbo token? What do I even do? These dilemmas plague me, everybody. Do, do other, do other YouTubers have to face such travesties? Do they? Does Halloween have to do this kind of shit? Does Kikoski have to do this kind of shit? Does Over the Gun have to do this kind of shit? Does freaking Necroscope 86 have to do this shit? Does... Does anybody else have to do this shit? Ooh! Destroyed! Holy frickin' crap. That was a... Beautiful thing right there. High five to me. Here you go. Nice. Favorite area. Favorite, 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 favorite. I love this. I absolutely love this. It's funny that I actually really like the ice levels because somebody somebody made a good point. Hello, by the way, look. Haha, ha, you're dead. I'm not. <laughs> That's what you get, stupid plant. 